What's going on guys? It is the Coaster Battleman here bringing you another Decade Plan. It's been a while since I've done one of these Decade Plans and it's for SeaWorld Orlando. I know Coaster Studios made a 5 year plan for them but I'm going to do a 10 year plan. I was planning to do this after I watched this video and I think some of his predictions were correct. But I'm going to expand it further to a decade plan. In 2017, since they got Mako in 2016, I think they'll improve their animal habitats for their turtles, sharks, whatever sea animals they have. In 2018, I think they're going to add a sea animal rescue dark ride. SeaWorld's planning to add more new attractions and remove some animal shows. And shows are kind of getting out of style at amusement parks. More people are trying to ride roller coasters. So a Sea Animal Rescue Dark Ride would be nice, a nice fit for the families and overall a solid ride. And now I do I know that they also have another dark ride themed to penguins, but in this plan, it will be removed soon. In 2019, I think they're going to get a San Parallel launched family coaster with jet ski trains. Now, the reason I have a picture of a jet ski right here is because I think the trains will be like jet skis. It'll be a cool concept. They'll be, it'll be like a insane ride with some insane airtime hills. I think it would be like a, you're riding a jet ski through the ocean with some intense bank turns and ejector airtime hills for a family coaster. That'd be pretty insane. I think that'd be a good fit for SeaWorld. In 2020, I think the Empire of the Penguin Dark Ride will be removed. This dark ride isn't the greatest, but I think it could be removed due to unpopularity or for a new roller coaster, which will be in a few years after this one. But I think the Stark Ride will eventually be removed. In 2021, I think that they'll get a penguin exhibit right where the Dark Ride once stood. And that will be a prep up because I think their penguin exhibit will be their next roller coaster theme, which means 2022, they will get a B&M wing coaster themed to penguins. That is probably one of the coolest ideas I've ever talked about. A B&M wing coaster themed to penguins. Who else would want... Who else have uh, has ever thought of a theme to penguins? It's pretty amazing. It could... This ride could have a... Could be about 130 feet tall have a wing over drop and four more inversions, so a five inversion wing coaster. I think it could be a solid ride, put in a near miss element, and I, you can give yourself a solid coaster. In 2023, after the wing coaster, I don't think anything major will come to the park. And the next roller coaster won't be for a while. Because in 2024, I'll think, I think they'll get some family rides replace older family rides or whatever attractions they have. In 2025, I could see Journey to Atlantis being removed. Water rides are kind of becoming out of out of like out of style. So I could see Journey to Atlantis being removed for a new roller coaster in 2026, which will be a map ride spinning coaster. I don't know what it would be themed to, but I think a spinning coaster would be a good fit for SeaWorld Orlando. It would give the park two major family coasters, the Smack Ride spinning coaster and their family launch coasters from Zamperla. And I think if this plan were to come true, I think it would definitely work for SeaWorld. They would get three new coasters in 10 years, which is good once every three to four years, but thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos.